Lucky. <laughs> I have some questions that I would love to ask. Okay. I've been thinking how important it is for women that we bond and we connect through conversation and through talking and through asking each other, how do you do that? So I've been studying with you with Bones for several years, with Bones for Life, and you've created a program called Chairs and now Walk for Life. We just completed that. And yet, I still have some questions to ask you about where your beauty comes not just from the inside, but tell me a little bit about your health and your life of what else you do that helps to keep you healthy that we can share with all the women that watch and listen to this. Well, you want all my secrets. I would love, <laughs> I'd love a few of them. <laughs> so first of all, it's movement. Un undoubtedly. This is natural movement. It's not the stretching or the acrobatic postures or it is movement that was in prehistory. Movement that survived the the prehistorical human being to to be able to live and so that we can be living today. It's the capacity to walk well, long distances. Feel that all your body supports you to do what you need to do, to run, for sure, also. To have the coordination, the rhythm in your body. It's not this part or, or that part. It's the, the whole orchestra, how it is conducted. So, look at you. You're, you're in your 80s, I can say. Yeah, I'm 81. Okay. Yes, 81. Yes, I'm God proud bless. 81. Exactly. <laughs> and you don't take medications for building your bone density. I don't take anything. I think that uh, the withstanding of bone to fracture, it is a functional issue. If you walk enough, if you put load on the bones, they know why they are designed for, what is their destiny. Mm. And this needs to be answered through the using them in, their, in that intention. The so, organism provides what you challenge it with, if it's not too exaggerated or right, too much. Right. So it's, uh, yeah. Now, is there anything that you do in your health with your eating that you think supports that? Maybe? Um, uh, maybe also for eating it's good to take criteria from prehistoric men as a uh, our biology hasn't changed much from then, and it is a proof that he survived with that. Mm -hmm. And I try to eat unprocessed food as much as possible. Um, I read the China study of Campbell, Dr. Campbell, and I, mm -hmm. and I do it more than a year. I feel it really gives me a lot of refreshing feeling, giving up these uh, animal proteins, especially the ones that are grown in agriculture today, right. The, right. they get all the uh, all the medicines, <laughs> and because we are what uh, what the animal ate, we oh. eat what the animal ate. We are what they <laughs> ate. Sure. It, it it's the truth. Yeah. Um, do you add Do you add other things? Do you so you work? I take vitamins. I take vitamins mm. now. It is, I can say. More than 35 years, I take standard processed vitamins. Mm. And you know, they are not isolating one element or another. They condense real foods, so they keep the proportion. The, the body knows how to read it. But, uh, but mainly, it is really the movement. I do movement more than 50 years. Thank you. Thank you. And, and it's a pleasure. And now with the Walk for Life that um, that emphasizes power, loading the pa the body with power, with stamina, with the coordination that enlivens your upper back. The upper back of mm. of human walking vertical is um, not doing much. Yeah, it doesn't have to do much. Yeah. So it's a wonderful feeling. Wow. Ruthie. Thank you so much. <laughs> you can go to um, 
www.bonesforlife.com yes. and you'll find more out about Bones for Life. And are there any other websites you'd like to send people to? Oh, there are many websites for Bones for Life. And uh, there will be Walk for Life very soon. That's right. Sure, there is and a Facebook a page. Movement Intelligence. This is our umbrella, Movement Intelligence. How we um, retrieve from the body its knowledge that is covered with so many habits and cultural mm -hmm. ways that uh, don't let this intelligence to come up. So we detach from the habits and what mm -hmm. comes up, it's wonderful. This is the difference of what we do. It's not that we teach the body to do something right. That's right. We provide it with varieties. This is how a baby learns. Exploring different varieties, begin to appreciate, develop their judgment mechanism, what is right. And then the body knows. It's amazing. And that's part <laughs> of what the big part that we were given when we were put on this earth. And that's what Ruthie has created in her programs. and. I urge you to go look for the websites. You can also even just Google Ruthie Alon, and you'll find many of her videos. And, and you find the teachers everywhere. And you there will find teachers, teachers everywhere yeah, around it. the world now. In three countries, in thirty countries, it's now thirty countries. Yeah, Ruthie, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs>